thing we're going to do. You've heard me talk about this CRC inner slide loop. It's made for forklift, see? Forklift. Is old tow wrecker on a forklift? Not yet. I wouldn't be uh, surprised if he didn't drag one home, but he don't. Shake it up. You have heard me talk about door wedges in a video, and I said I'd show you what they were. Door wedges. They had white lithium put on them. I don't know. It's been two years ago better now. They're starting to get real good and dry. Well, corresponding side, see if I can get it in view right there. That's a door wedge. See how it's getting dry? You can see the little rust at the bottom of it. What these do is, as you can see, this wedge hits this and it keeps the door in position. It's kind of funny. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to apply this inner slide, CRC inner slide loop. This stuff right here, I think, is going to be the perfect calling for this. When I pulled this out of the box, where they sent it to me, I went, wow, this is going to be some awesome stuff for this. Because it says it's sticky, it stays with it. Shake it up real good, shake the camera while we're at it. What we're going to do is, we're going to, if I can get the darn thing where I can get it, I'm going to start right back in behind here just to get the tooth, get it where it'll come out. See, this is some real black, goofy, almost nasty looking stuff, my friends. I mean, it really is, but when it comes to greasing something, that black, goopy, fortified grease on something that moves is good. That's not a bad thing. It's just not real aesthetically pleasing to look at. We're gonna slap this down. These doors, you'd have to shut them and shut them and shut them and shut them to get them shut. And we're gonna wet, put them, wet, get them wedges all slicked up. We're gonna give this a coat. This is a door check. Slap it in there. I mean, it's not like it's gonna hurt it. And it should stay there. That's what we want. The door hinges I did the other day, but I didn't have this handy. Let's see if my door shuts. Oh, lovely. First try. Well, yeah, door shuts great. You guys have seen me do cold starts and stuff. Get in it, slam the door, get in it, slam the door, get in it, slam the door, get in it, slam the door. Yeah. Right. We're getting three out of five, whatever. That's good. That's very good for these doors on this old truck. Doors on these trucks just don't, you know, they don't shut well. They really don't. Oh, bird crap. But anyway, let's slather down this side. I still need to finish this truck. I've neglected to finish it. Let's see, I got some dirt in this one. It's stuck in it. It's really not where the slide even hits. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's the slide, the wedge hits right in here, so we're not gonna worry about that dirt in the back there. We're just gonna put some in the slide. And if you own one of these trucks, I'll show you what I just did that's wrong that you shouldn't do. You can see where I got this on this outside edge. You don't want to do that because your wife or your girlfriend will go to get in the truck and they will get this grease on them. See, I got it on this door seal. I got it everywhere. Messy Marvin. But keep it inside that channel. If you keep it in that channel, you're in good shape. You ain't gonna get it on you. These wedges, everybody's like, that's sticking out in the mid air. You're gonna get that on you. You won't. You never get in contact with the storage. I mean, this, like I said, this is some goopy, goopy, messy stuff. But as far as lubricating this stuff here, that's exactly what you want. You want goopy and sticky. You want it to stay because this is exposed to weather. If you think about it, this door here has always been a little cantankerous to shut. This door mechanism here needs lubed, but without taking the door panel off, forget it. This one's shutting one for one every time. But anyway, pick you up a can of this. For lubricating stuff, it needs to move. Metal to metal contact. You know, this stuff is awesome. I really like it. And it's a product, I can tell you this. It is a product that if I seen it on the shelf, I wouldn't buy it. It's for a forklift. I would have never have thought a thing of it. I would have never have thought it to be, you know, like a grease. I'd never thought it to be what it was until I actually got this can and sprayed it. Now I'm sold on it. Um, pick you up a can. Real handy for lots of different things that move and stuff, like door hinges. It would be great for door hinges. 
you know it's stuff that you can get it down in and want it to stay there and it's it's almost like a liquefied axle grease in a way you know i mean it really is i like it so anyway pick you up again mater likes it see y'all one more thing to note people I'll show you here about about every about every about every single crc product there really is see what i done with the straw it's on top of it I usually try to stick them back in the piece of tape that's on the side. It's out of habit. Most products do not have a place to put the straw. The straw stays pretty well. I actually picked that up like that before I turned the camera on and was able to pick the can up by the straw. Well, it's going to call me a liar now. But you get the point. There we go. I had this idea to make this video and I was going to pick the can up by the straw. So needless to say, your straw is not going to get lost. So. Yep. Kind of a neat little uh, thing there. See y'all.